or no gloves? No gloves. I'll wash. I'll dry. We are perfect together. <laughs> mm. Somebody want to remind them we have a dishwasher? I miss Vinny. I miss Sunny. I miss Cheers. Do you prefer real mayonnaise or Miracle Whip? Miracle, miracle Whip. Alex <laughs> Trebek or Pat Sajak? Alex, Alex Trebek. Trebek. Dr. Scholes or Odor Eaters? Odor Eaters. <laughs> Hey, Joe, I thought you were supposed to be having dinner with your mom. Yeah, well, she didn't show up for the game. I'm sorry. You all right? Yeah, I had the best game of the season. <laughs> so what are you ladies going to do this evening? Nothing. Where's Vinny? He had to work. Mm. Where's a... Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I am so incredibly virtually terminally bored. Oh, come on now. There's a whole world of things to do. Hey, I'll do something with you, Joe. You're welcome to join us if you want. Nah, I hate that kind of stuff, Dad. <laughs> what stuff? We don't even know what we're doing yet. You know, stuff like going out with Dad and Sis and our little friend and getting closer and learning some valuable lesson about life. <laughs> I really hate that. <laughs> Me too. All right, so it's just the three of us, right? I know what to do. You guys have been to the drive-in, haven't you? Not with a relative, no. <laughs> okay, let's go to the drive-in. We'll eat lots of junk food and you'll get to see one of the greatest films ever made. Psycho. Psycho is one of Hitchcock's best. And Hitchcock is... That fat guy on Nickelodeon? <laughs> Ooh. Hitchcock or Wilder? Wilder. Coppola or Coppola? Coppola. Mm. <laughs> and you know, if you think you Wilder, you're going to have to go Coppola out in the garage, all right? <laughs> hey, do you want to go to the drive-in show? I love drive-ins. Mm, we could do that. Or we could just stay in this big, empty house and play drive-in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dad, I don't think the idea of the three of us going to the drive-in is, how shall I put this, on my list of the top zillion things I want to do. Come on, it'll give us a chance to talk. Besides, drive-ins are American cultural phenomenon, and in a few years they'll all be gone. Come on, it'll be great. It'll be pathetic. <laughs> Look, you guys aren't doing anything else anyway. Now, you get free food, and you get to see a classic movie with your cool dad. What do you think? Hmm, I suppose it wouldn't kill us. Yeah, we can use it as sort of a benchmark in our lives. This is what we'll call hitting rock bottom. Everything after this will have to be better. Okay, Dad, let's go have some fun. <laughs>
right. It's okay, Mommy. Oh, no, it's not. This was your first home run, and I wasn't there. I'm really, really sorry, honey. It's okay, Mommy. <laughs> Will you hit Mommy another home run? Yeah. You're not mad at me, are you, Joey? Of course not, Mommy. <laughs> Oh, 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 I forgot how horrifying this movie is. I'll tell you what's horrifying, that pointy bra Janet Lee is wearing. <laughs> when does the color kick in? Right after the song and dance number. Hey, Six, look, Coach Mason's in that car making out. Wow, that is her. This is incredible. Come on, you guys. They're adults. What they decide to do with their own time is their own business. She's with a woman. Which car? Six, you know who that is? That's the principal secretary, Miss Kubrick. Wow, Coach Mason just threw her over the back seat. Tossed her like the old medicine ball. <laughs> Boy, is Joey going to be sorry he missed this one? Okay. Okay, you guys, that's enough. I don't want you guys starting a big scandal at school about this. Please, Dad, like anyone would care. Boy, that Miss Kubrick is pretty limber. Boy, you kids grow up fast. You know, when I was your age, I... I'm doing it again, aren't I? Oh, no, really. We love hearing your stories from olden times. Hey, Dad, tell us again about how you made that coonskin cap and were tricked by the riverboat gamblers. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, 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 no. Forget what boring personal anecdote I was going to tell you guys. Again... Maybe there's something new you want to know about me. Go ahead, ask me something. Really? Yeah, it's a perfect chance to get to know each other better, share our lives. I think I'm going to go get something to eat. <laughs> Please, allow me. Really? Go ahead, ask me something. Like what? anything did you have sex before you were married <laughs> bill or hillary hillary michael bolton the menendez brothers the menendez brothers <laughs> i love you i love you too why don't I get that bottle of sparkling grape juice? This should be ready by now. Great. Thanks. I'd feel like the king of the castle if we weren't living in the garage. <laughs> Wanna get that? Not really. What'd you say, honey? I said I love you, baby. I love you, too. Rhonda. God, I've missed you. <laughs> at the door. What makes you think someone was at the door? <laughs> the doorbell rang. Did it? You know, I never realized how much I love being married. Mm. And I never realized you wear Chanel number five. Who was at the door, Anthony? Pizza delivery. Oh, a woman delivering pizza kissed you? She hugged me. You have lipstick on your face. I didn't finish. She hugged me, then she kissed me. <laughs> Where's the pizza? Shelly. We didn't order any pizza. 
Tell me. I didn't order any bull. Now tell me who that was before I get crazy. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I was just taken by surprise. That was an old friend. A friend of old. That's all. Just a friend. A friend, huh? Yeah. Why didn't you invite her in? She's more of an outdoor friend. What's your name? Rhonda. I've heard that name mentioned. Well, it's a common name. You know, every Tom, Dick, and Rhonda. What does she do? What? 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 What does she do? Yeah. What does she do? Yeah, what does she do? What does she do? Yeah, what does she do? I mean, that shouldn't be a tough question unless, of course, she's a, a playboy centerfold. Ha! <sighs> You're really good at this. <laughs> you dated a playboy? Ha! <sighs> You're really good at this. <laughs> you dated a playboy centerfold? Yeah. But, I mean, she was only a centerfold that one time. That one February. It's the shortest month of the year. How long did you date? A couple, three years. You ever proposed to her? Yeah. Like where? Say, uh, at the drive-in? Wow. You make spoons, Ben, too? So that's why you wanted to go to the drive-in tonight. Shelly, that is not why I wanted to go to the drive-in tonight. <laughs> now, can we please just forget about that? Get back to where we were here? Huh? Beach house or country house? Dog house. <laughs> I'll tell you after the movie. We're getting to a really shocking part. You're in for an enormous surprise. Give it up, Dad. That's him in the window. How could you have possibly figured that out? Could it have been the wig? <laughs> Stop it. You're ruining this for me. Come on, Dad. We're both adults here. Why can't we just talk about this? Hey, some things are just personal. Besides, I have absolutely the greatest respect for your privacy, and I'd like to be treated the same way. <laughs> What are we talking about? Nothing. Premarital sex. <laughs> my mom and dad had sex before marriage. Six? Your mom may not care to have you share that information with Blossom and me. Oh, she already told me. <laughs> but she didn't tell me. Hmm. Well, I don't see why she didn't. You know, she probably did, but she was talking so fast you didn't understand her. She has a bad habit of doing that. Oh, by the way, I accidentally bumped into Coach Mason's car. Now we all have to do 25 laps in gym tomorrow. Oh, my God. Give me my popcorn. This cannot be real butter. So about this premarital sex thing, are you going to tell me or not? Not. So you might as well ask me something else. Okay. Have you ever done drugs? Damn. I wish you wouldn't pin me down like this. I feel like Miss Kubrick. What would you expect me to ask you? I don't know. Philosophical stuff. Like, do you believe in God? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, how come you don't go to church? Because. Because why? Because. Because why? Because I still feel guilty about having sex before marriage, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> However, that does not mean I condone sex before marriage. Oh, and why not? Well, for one thing, every divorced couple I know had sex before marriage. And what about the married couples? Well, them too. But there's a point in there somewhere. <laughs> Back to the drugs, please, for a second. It's like watching a movie with Mike Wallace. <laughs> What are we talking about now? Nothing. Drugs. Wait. I mean, it's the whole premarital sex thing. 
Don't you think two people need to get to know each other on every level before they get married? I mean, theoretically. Speaking of course, shouldn't people are planning on spending the whole rest of their lives together to find out whether or not, shall we say, the physical part of their relationship is going to be interesting before making that kind of commitment? I mean, how are they supposed to do that unless they, you know, do it? <laughs> Okay, I tried pot a couple of times, but I did not inhale. <laughs> and we got into a discussion. And... You had another fight? Well, where's Dad? I don't know, Joe. But he'll be here. Besides, I wanted to talk to you alone. You want me to leave? <laughs> no, Joe. I meant I want just the two of us to talk. Okay. I got a triple today. I drive the left field. Whoa! Sorry I missed it. Yeah, me too. Well, maybe next time. Uh, maybe next time. Look, Joe, what I have to tell you is really hard, and I hope you won't hate me for it. Of course not. How can I hate you? I can't even get mad at you. <laughs> I love you, Joey. So I hope you understand this. It's just that sometimes when people really aren't happy, they have to make a change in their lives. And, well, your dad and I haven't really been that happy lately. I guess sex was safer back then. Well, we didn't have airbags. <laughs> but there were a lot of dangers back then. People were just too stoned to think about it. What are you doing? Coach Mason said I could run my laps now. Did you see that shower scene? <coughs> Please. Free Willy was scarier. See ya. <laughs> So, are you saying that if there were no threat of AIDS, then it would be okay to have premarital sex? No. No, I'm not saying that. Look, I learned my lesson the hard way. What does that mean? It means that sex is a very complicated issue. And you shouldn't do it until you're absolutely certain you can take total responsibility for the consequences. Did you and Mom have to get married? You know, I always knew there was going to be this day of reckoning when I'd be called upon to account for every bad thing I've ever done in my life. I just thought I'd be dead first. Guess you kind of lucked out. No. Your Mom and I did not have to get married. Guess you kind of lucked out. Your mom and I did not have to get married. However, when we did, she was pregnant with Anthony. <laughs> I can't believe you never told me this before. I never felt you had any need to know. So I hope you'll keep this just between us. Well, Tony knows. Oh, yeah. We told him when he was about 13, and everything turned out fine. Except your mom and I got divorced, and Anthony got addicted to drugs and alcohol. She was at the Playboy Mansion, and she had a chicken bone stuck in her throat. Yes, and that's all I want to say about it. 
You know, Shelly, it's not like I didn't exist before I met you. This thing with Rhonda was just a thing. A thing. A thing. <laughs> a serious thing, but a thing. Well, I had a couple of serious things myself. And I suppose you'd like me to ask you about them so that we can continue to spin deeper and deeper down this spiral of our past, which is the endless source of all arguments. Exactly. Fine. You'd better get it. It might be Uma Thurman choking on a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. Huh? <laughs> Hi, Shelly. <laughs> Is Joey here? Yep, yeah, he's in his room. Okay. See you. So, where were we? Did you sleep with her? <laughs> Did I ever sleep with Rhonda? Well, honey, it's funny you should ask that because. A lot of people would assume that a three-year relationship with a Playboy centerfold would be physical. <laughs> Hi, Joey. I'm sorry I didn't call, but wouldn't you know it? I let the battery run completely down on the cellular phone, and, uh, you know. It's okay, Ma. Oh, good. Well, I promise we'll meet after the game next week. Actually, Mom... Don't bother. What? Don't bother, because you won't show up. Joey? You'll have an excuse just like always, and it'll sound fine, and I'll accept it just like I always do. Only this time, I'm not going to do it. What are you talking about? Tonight was the last time you don't show up. Tonight was the last time you let me down. I think that I finally learned that as far as you're concerned, no expectations, no disappointments. And, and that's not all. Go ahead. I don't think you can hurt me any more than you already have. Hurt you? You, Mom? What about me? What about me, Mom? I mean, you've either been stuck in traffic or out of the country for most of my life. Joey, despite how hard things have been for you, I promise you it would have been harder to have been around parents who are only together for the kids. Believe me, I've only wanted what's best for you always. You know, isn't it funny that what is best for me is always the same as what's easiest for you? There's nothing easy about leaving your family. Give me a break. You left all of us and went off to Paris. Now, when I was a kid, you could make Paris sound bad. But you know what? I've been there, and Paris isn't half bad. You're right. But not about everything. Give me a chance to explain, Joe. I'm fed up with all your explanations, Mom. And I don't want an apology either. You proposed to her at the drive-in. Yes, I did. I did it. Oh. That is not why I wanted to go to the drive-in. Good night, Mom. Mm -hmm. I just like drive-ins. I was conceived at the drive-in. You're making that up. No. No, I am not. It's named after Anthony Perkins. Psycho? Psycho. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Blossom. Hi. Did you see Joey? Yeah. Everything okay? Of 
course. Everything's fine. Good. Good. Is everything okay with you? Yeah. I guess. Have you ever started out on an evening that you thought would be incredibly ordinary and then you learn something really important that you never knew before? <laughs> uh, matter of fact, I have. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Actually, I think I've done enough talking for one evening. Good night. Mm -hmm.